hello, hello. Welcome back to American MMO, the only gaming channel on YouTube that will never tease you with content not coming to your Western keyboard. My name is Aaron, 20-year veteran of the MMO community, loving all things games. For today's video, we will be discussing new information and images released by Pearl Abyss on their new MMO shooter, Plan 8. But before we get into that, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate the support. If you've been here a while, thanks for your ongoing effort to help make this channel grow. You are my marketing team. My ask, please share this video, but of course, only if I deserve it. All right, on to plan eight. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comments below. Here we go. Pearl Abyss revealed more details about Plan 8, its exosuit MMO that was announced at G-Star last month, along with half a dozen screenshots and a new logo. The info comes in the form of bulleted facts, which has enough detail that I could simply read through. I apologize if I sound a little bit like a robot. All right, here we go. Development history. Plan 8 is the first shooter introduced by Pearl Abyss and combines open world MMO elements and action-packed gameplay and realistic graphics that players expect within the shooting genre. Plan 8 is built on Pearl Abyss's brand new proprietary engine. Plan 8 is currently being developed for PC and console by lead producer Soon Ki Lee, former environmental art director for Black Desert Online, and technical advisor Min Lee, co-creator of the original Counter-Strike. Genre defining. Pearl Abyss is striving to create a next generation shooter that combines the best elements of an MMO genre to create an entirely new experience unlike any other shooting game on the market. A vast open world and profound worldview will be important to Plan 8. Though Pearl Abyss describes Plan 8 as a shooter, it is difficult to confine the game to a single genre. The project aims to create a unique shooter title with MMO gameplay elements. Okay, let's talk about gameplay. Plan 8 is defined as an exosuit MMO shooter. The exosuit is a robotic device that the player can wear, offering amazing abilities. A key feature of Plan 8 is finding and equipping different gears to the player's exosuit, opening up gameplay experiences never before seen in a game. Now let's go a little deeper into exosuits. Exosuits allow players to exercise superhuman power, granting wearers extraordinary strengths and capabilities. Every exosuit has its own special abilities. When an exosuit meets another in the battlefield, they can counter each other depending on their capability. This allows for complex strategic gameplay through advantages and disadvantages among exosuits. Players can use exosuits in many different ways. For example, an exosuit with enhanced arms will help climb up walls and down walls, while one with enhanced legs will help them jump over high walls and buildings. Closing out the new information that was released, we'll talk about firearms. Firearms play a very important role in the world of Plan 8. Like exosuits, firearms can be enhanced or modified using various parts that players can choose. Enhancements and modifications of firearms doesn't follow a standardized format. Players can customize their firearms based on their own creative ideas, which is, which is a neat idea. Time for my opinion. Now when I look at all this new information and I see the cinematic trailer and I see the new screenshots, so far things look pretty good. But I do have to say I'm a little weary of how they are wording it. It is tough for me to get on board when Pearl Abyss uses words like and unlike any other shooter game on the market. Or when they say never before seen. Like that is some pretty bold statements. And so far, like I said, things do look pretty good, but I wouldn't be able to get behind any of that until I actually got this game in my hand. Now, one thing I will say is that I really like the idea of enhanced arms and legs. Most movement types in these types of games is you could run on walls, you can use jetpacks, everybody has the exact same movement type. Whereas this, you can actually enhance yourself so you move different than other players. I think. I think that is something that's truly unique. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait. I'm hoping that this game is definitely free to play. What I'm gonna do for you now is actually play the cinematic trailer for Plan 8. I'm sure most of you have seen it, but just in case somebody hasn't, this is what was released last month, and this trailer is supposedly derived from actual gameplay footage. 
so we'll give you an idea of what it looks like in game. When it's over, I will come wrap a bow on this video. Enjoy. So that's everything we know about Plan 8. Trailer looks pretty good, right? Information that's been released looks pretty good. But do you believe the hype? Is this a game that's never been seen before? Something that will draw the lines between MMO and first person shooter? I gotta say, so far, I'm not convinced. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. Wow. I am terribly impressed that you made it this far into the video. And since you're here, my kids have a few asks. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and smash that bell. And now you're ready to go and fight and destroy some bad guys.